Reuters, American craft distiller Adam Spiegel is bracing for a double shot of pain. An escalating international trade spat is driving up his equipment costs and threatens to cut into his profit from the bottles he exports to Europe, just as business is booming. U.S. President Donald Trump on June 1 imposed tariffs for aluminum imports from Mexico, Canada, and the European Union. As a result, Spiegel expects his bill for recently ordered steel fermentation tanks, worth several hundred thousand dollars, to be $50,000 to $60,000 higher. Spiegel will also get squeezed by the tariffs the EU announced in retaliation on U.S. goods, including whiskey, earlier this week. They could put his roughly 58 pounds, $77.83, per bottle of Sonoma Rye and West of Kentucky bourbon out of reach for some European drinkers unless he swallows some of the cost. With nearly a quarter of his sales coming in Europe, lowering his prices enough to offset the entire tariff would be too stiff a drink for Spiegel given total revenue only amounts to a few million dollars a year. A euro we are not a big company who can absorb such frivolous fluctuations a euro he said, predicting, a euro or American whiskey will get more expensive a euro. For a graphic, click tmsnrt.r slash 2xxdfx8. To be sure, Spiegel a euro trademark s business Sonoma distilling CEO of California is a tiny fish in the world of spirits. But the multinationals that dominate the American whiskey industry, worth some $5 billion a year to suppliers and triple that at retail, are facing similar questions about an uncertain business climate with proposed tariffs from the EU, Canada, China, and Turkey, and Mexico Euro trademark s own tax on US whiskey imports that kicked in earlier this week. In a letter Thursday to US Secretary of Commerce Wilbur Ross arguing these tariffs a euro will seriously harm producers a euro the industry trade group Distilled Spirits Council noted that 46% of global US spirits and 65% of global US whiskey exports are either currently facing, or are at risk of facing, retaliatory tariffs. It requested a meeting with Secretary Ross to discuss the matter further. Brown Foreman, BFB.N the Louisville-based home-to-market leader Jack Daniela Euro Trademark S and Higher End Woodford Reserve, already started shipping more whiskey to its warehouses overseas ahead of the tariffs, CEO Paul Varga told analysts on Wednesday. Brown Foreman, which also sells tequila and other drinks, generates about half its revenue domestically, a quarter in Europe and a quarter elsewhere. Beam Suntory BSI. All, home to bourbons including Jim Beam, maker a euro trademark s mark and knob creek is also a euro m making contingency plans to manage through all potential scenarios a euro spokeswoman emily york said a euro we will continue to make our case on both sides of the atlantic because no one wins in a trade war where consumers distillery workers farmers bartenders and wait staff are among the innocent victims a euro she said those two companies make about 62 percent of all american whiskey according to researchers IWSR. Other big players include Heaven Hill, Diageo, DGEL, and Campari, CPRI.MI. 95% of bourbon, a major American whiskey style, comes from Kentucky. The southern state, which helped Donald Trump win the 2016 presidential election, is also the home state of prominent Republican politician Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell and Senator Rand Paul. McConnell has publicly stated his opposition to tariffs. Kentucky Euro trademark s largest city, Louisville, has benefited from what its mayor Greg Fisher has called a Euro e bourbonisme Euro, or the convergence of bourbon making and tourism. Bourbon, which can only come from the United States and is often sweeter than Scotch has been growing beyond its home state, due in large part to a resurgence of cocktail culture. Exports grew 43% to $1 billion over the past decade, according to the Distilled Spirits Council. About 59% of exports went to the EU last year. To meet rising demand and interest, many whiskey producers are expanding, with the help of last year a Euro trademark s massive US tax cut that lowered federal excise tax on distillers from $13.50 to $2.70 per gallon for the first 100,000 gallons, but only for two years. Higher prices for consumers. 
Once the tariffs come into effect, suppliers can choose to swallow the extra cost themselves or they can pass it on to customers. Protecting margins is always a priority, but in this case they risk losing hard-earned market share if drinkers pick cheaper brands. Generally, if the price of a distilled spirit increases 10%, sales volume of that spirit falls by about 5%, according to Henry Saffer, a researcher with the National Bureau of Economic Research in New York. Therefore, if bourbon prices rise in the EU, he says people would just a euro buy cheaper versions of something very similar a euro. With a recent boom in whiskey, there are more choices than ever, from classic places like Scotland and Ireland, as well as newcomers like Sweden and Australia. Yet Euromonitor analyst Spiros Mailandrakis predicted those alternatives will not see a boost until it becomes obvious that the tariffs are here to stay because suppliers will likely suck it up if the duties are short-lived. Because the US has shifted positions in the past, several whiskey executives Reuters spoke with displayed a euro away tansy a euro attitude, hoping that the tension will die down and any tariffs would be temporary. A euro or at a euro trademark s very hard to predict what will transpire a euro said Mark Brown, chief executive of Sazerac CEO, owner of Kentucky euro trademark s Buffalo Trace Distillery. A euro or either is a euro trademark t going to be any certainty over whether it a euro trademark s going to be a one week spat or a two year spat a euro. The tariff may be shared all along the supply chain, from producers to importers and distributors to retailers. But producers such as Brown Foreman, whose Jack Daniela Euro trademark S sells for about £23, $30.86, per litre in British supermarkets, tend to have fat profit margins. Its operating margin was 32% last year, versus only 16.5% for Unilever and 12% for Cadbury chocolate maker Mondelez International A. Joseph Moglioco, President of Mike Dura Euro Trademark S Distillery, sees the premium price of his bourbon as insulation. The cheapest version can be found in Britain for around £53, $67.10. That puts him in prime position to weather the tariff storm, and keep his plans to expand with a new distillery set to open the public in downtown Louisville in September. A Euro or in general if taxes go up, I would think the super premium products will be affected less a Euro Moglioco said. Even though Mike Dura Euro trademark S is available in some 40 countries, international markets are only about 15% of sales. $1 equals 0.7452 pounds.